night my besties angel here and i'm reacting again i'm reacting because you asked me to react mega react from the vice cartel something this vice cartel case again i mean not gonna stop reacting on it until when i see vice cartel walk out of that jail prison horizon a lot of people is not gonna like this video but that's your opinion that's your feelings but I'm not going to stop, stop speaking out because I speak up because of guilt or innocent. I'm not I'm telling already that I speak up because of green or orange. I speak up because of I do not come here with favoritism. I come here so, for react based on what I've seen, the law, your rights, and the people, what the people ask and what the people would like. Me I gotta react on the one because I realize that this vice cartel case is way more than what it appears to be. Now let me say this: your opinion is valid, mine's is valid too. You have the right to like and to dislike who you dislike, but you now fit take it to the next level of disrespecting nobody if you don't like somebody. I mean, I can wish bad pan nobody. Me will never say. You for rat or you for go dead because men are like you. Never. That's that's hate. You have a whole bunch of hatred. And we hate and we dislike most of the times because we don't know and we don't understand. Let me get into it. Isaac McKinnon file an appeal. Not even an appeal. He filed in the court for atheist corpus. Right? Let me say this. Him should have filed it from day one. Him should not for wait for the DPP play fair on number one. Because number two, it's more than what this seems to be. Why is this prosecution office and these people so headstrong, persistently determined to hold this man in jail? We don't need a charge. We don't no reasoning. We don't come into the Jamaica public on a platform and said, this, I am the DPP. These are the reasons why we are still holding Vice Cartel in jail. And this is what the Jamaica Prosecution Office will be doing in the next two and three months. First of all, the Prosecution Office in Jamaica and I have no respect for the people of Jamaica. Them not explain and tell them nothing where they might do and where they might go do. Them just do it. Because apparently, this governing body we're down there is moving to our where it can move from? We no longer democrat. It seems like we're no longer a democratic society. It's like a dictatorship. These people that are in these office are dictating and telling you what and when them want telling you what they want telling you. Like I said, she should have came out from the moment the Privy Council send it back and void this conviction and explain what the next process is going to be, what is going to cost us. But them now do that. Number one, and let me come from, and I come from she. Vibes got tell me going back from. From day one, Isaac should have filed that. First of all, the Privy Council send this man case back to the lower court. His conviction was void, which means he has no, no longer does he have a conviction over his head. He's not convicted of anything. He's not a convict, which means he has no felon. He's not a felon. He has no felonies. He has no misdemeanor. He may have nothing. He's sitting in jail since the Privy Council overturned, not overturned, reverse, void his conviction. Them not charge him. Them not explain to the Jamaica people what they're doing. Them just have him in jail sitting. Tell me now, why? What is this about? Is this more than what we, the Jamaican public, and we, the world, know about? I'm asking a question. Me no business who don't like cartel. Me telling you all the time. You know, I am not here about green, orange, labor right, PMP. I am here about my rights and your rights. And vice cartel rights has been violated from the very first day that the Privy Council void this conviction. I'm not want nobody come tell me, sir, it's due process. What is due process? How is this due process? What in what part is it due process? When there is not a charge, they haven't charged him with anything. But you are keeping him in, in, in there for your reasons, for your control. Because again, you know, this is bigger than what we, what we know. 
I met me say this. Me not care who don't like Vibes Cartel. You have your opinion and I have mine. I don't know nothing about him more than what I heard in the media. So I do not form an opinion on whether I like him or not. I form my opinion on the rights of your right, my right, and the law. And if this was your brother and your sister, would you want them to sit in jail with no charges? None? Well, he has been held there with no bond, with no bail. How can you give somebody a bond and a bail when you haven't charged them? You have to charge them first. So this Apius Corpius that Isaac Buchanan filed for means he's telling you that you're holding this man in jail with no due process, with nothing and he should be released and if you are going to charge him charge him and there is so much more steps that you the dpp office and the prosecution office could do <coughs> to alleviate such a big nasty stress of what's happening where vice cartel is gonna go if you release him and he's all records none and release him to report to waterford police station three four five six times a week where am i gonna go where am I going to go? First of all, you know he has medical issues. For sure, not how much on a really wicked and determined to make this youth die in prison. Where am I going to go? Why don't you let him go on some kind of uh, um, humanitarian health crisis to go seek medical attention? We do not have nothing for him. He's not charged. But me are showing you know, that there is more to this vice cartel than you know. This big rich, these rich big people who, who die Jamaica were getting a problem. I see them get bail. I see take a while for not even lock them up. We don't investigate first and then they lock up. But with the poor youth, they lock up and then they investigate. A side go. So the system in Jamaica is not one for everybody, you know. <coughs> it's one for the poor and one for the rich. Because the poor man, you yeah, put him in a jail force and some emergency, something. And then you investigate. But the rich one, you investigate. All here's the investigation and now lock up. Wake up. Let the man go. Free cartel. I don't care who one No nation, that was a woman reacting to Vibes Cartel's habeas corpus. And this video was actually posted on Vibes Cartel's instagram page and he captioned it and he said the match are prove an unprovable point so it's a concoction of hashtag bad mind corruption abuse of power and pussy feelings who know no that's it hashtag angel reacting hashtag vibes cartel hashtag isaac buchanan now the name of the female in the video her name is angel and that's her TikTok handle, Angel Reacting. So that's why I'm hashtag it up. I'm basically a gear of forward man. Where she has a she has a fox, you know what I mean? And to be honest, people, you have to understand say whole heap of people I are open up now to the truth. Because they must say, yo, them people are fight vibes cartel. Them people are try tear down vibes cartel. And as I've said before, it is obvious. It is obvious. People are sit with them two yeah, people are find out for themselves, say yo, you know say them people are corrupt. You know what I mean? That's why I have to always big up Isaac Buchanan because of them man there. You see what I mean? I say really and truly. Take it to the forefront and fight for Vibes Cartel, brother. Advocate for Vibes Cartel, brother. And make the Privy Council highlight them fast here. And show them, say, yo, you no need to deal with things better than you need to deal with it. So guess what? You don't correct you blow our movements. So we are sending back the case to you for you correct our movements. And the correct thing to do is just free the man. And the Privy Council basically I tell them that, but them no one say it outrightly like that. But them just send it back for show them say, hey, you no need to make a correct decision and, and, and see like how him already served a good amount of time, you no know for do the right thing and you no know what is the right thing. You no know for do the right thing and you no know what is the right thing. So you know for just do it, which is to free him. You see me I say, but them are holding against him will, as the female say, it's personal feelings. But here we go on. Here we go on. No matter what them do, no matter what them say, Vibes Cartel will be free and adjust the truth that. You know what I mean? And the female that we in the video, she basically attacked the, 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 the raw truth. A truth and fact she attacked. You know what I mean? And a whole lot of people that go hate her and say a lot of things about her. And she even says she no business who no one like her. Yeah, she also says she no business who no one like her. But adjust the truth. And I say it go. You know what I mean? Adjust the truth. 
just the truth. So big up yourself, Angel, for reacting to the video that way. Because when you see Vibes Cartel post it on theme page, you know, say, yo, a fuck shit attack, you know what I mean? So people, this is where I'm going to end the update. And I rest my case on the topic. And anything you have to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section. You never can tell. Probably your comment can spark a next update, people. I want to know, realize that for the past three days, I'm upload. I'm very sorry. I apologize to you. So I said, but I got so caught up with some work and stuff like that. So what are you about now? So now just look out back for more consistency, which is daily updates. You see what I say? You don't know my thing already. I take a little three day break for deal with some business. Nothing wrong, don't Yeah, but you don't know. I'm there now. See? So you don't know the procedure. Like up the video, share the video. You don't know. Watch the ads. See? So until the next time on the next topic, I'm out.